Okay, so my nail is filed and buffed. It's nice and smooth. And I'm going to attempt 3D nail art for the first time. Um, I think a couple months ago I was just playing around with my cousin. Um, I actually kind of got her into doing acrylics and, um, oops, camera came unplugged. But, um, we were just messing around one day and she actually made a, um, cute little flower. I mean, neither one of us knew what the heck we were doing. We were just messing around. And I made this ugly little pumpkin thing. <laughs> I think it was like around Halloween time. But other than that, I haven't tried, um, anything. And I see all you ladies doing these gorgeous, you know, flowers and bows and things like that. So I want to try to do a flower. So I'm going to take the rest of my monomer here. And I know... I've heard to mix in um, half monomer, half acetone. I'm kind of scared to do that only because I don't want it to set too fast and me not be ready um, since I'm not used to working with it. But um, I'm going to take this color here. It's like a dark green. I think it looks blue on camera, but it's not. I think it matches really well with the um, blue color I used. Um, it kind of looks more green with the iridescent and then the black underneath. And then a white. So I'm going to try to do the um, two-tone petals on a flower. And I'm <sighs> kind of debating on... You know, I think I am going to use this smaller brush that I just got. I mean, that's what I got them for, but then once when I got them home, they're like really tiny. They're more like um, detailing brushes, but I don't think it's going to hurt to try to do um, 3D for my first time with this, because it is really small, and I'll be able to work with it a little better, I think. So I think I want my green on the outside. And then my white on the inside. And then I'm just going to put it right here. Maybe. You know what? This brush might be too small. It's not getting the liquid to the um, acrylic. Um, I'm going to try one petal here and see how it works. And um, I'm just going to take the, um, well, that was a fail. I'm using a number two brush. I wanted a number four, but I can't find it right now. Because these brushes I was actually going to throw away because they're all so crappy. But... Oh, what are you going to do? Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. <laughs> With these smaller brushes, I'm going to have to practice that. It's like it doesn't get the um, acrylic, the liquid all the way through the powder. So I'm just going to add a little bit more here. And... I think I kind of want it to go this way. Yeah, see, I'm glad I didn't add any acetone yet. This might take me a minute. be because my um ch -ch -ch 
colored acrylic is um just not the greatest. But there's one petal. I think I made that one too big. Sorry guys, this is probably going to take me a while. That one's too big also. Tiny, tiny, think tiny. I have no clue what the um, techniques are for like different kinds of flowers, so I don't even know what I'm going for here. I'm just going for it. Uh, this is probably going to be like the ugliest flower imaginable, little ugly duckling of flowers. Uh, maybe I'll just add a little rhinestone in the middle. I think that makes everything pretty. Uh, this is a disaster. But this is why we practice. That one's a little bit too wet. ugliest flower ever. Oh, my goodness. But there you have it. That is my first attempt at a 3D flower. And you know what? Let me grab uh, my rhinestones here because I really like um, the look of that, uh, come on, pulling out every one but the round, here we go. And that's what I did. Okay, I'm going to add this pretty little green color. So I'm just going to pull this little guy Yay! Get this. 
this. Then I'm just going to add one little bead of white. Oops, too big. Now that I've done this, I'm going to want to do it all the time. So, um, you guys can be expecting a lot more videos from me. This is going to be... Every time I sit down to practice, I'll record it. So even though, you know, it might not be the greatest um, design video or, you know, anything like that, you'll get to watch me learn. That's pretty cool. And Miss Anita was kind enough to send me those, um, pencil things. Criminy. Um, to pick up rhinestones. And I still haven't found a pencil sharpener. But I don't think about it until I sit down to do this and then I'm like, oh yeah, that would be really nice to have, you know, to be able to use. But, what are you going to do? Okay. So that is my 3D flower. And I'm sure my camera's blurry. I'll take some pictures here. I I don't know. It's a little bit funky, but it's my first and I kind of like it. I really like it actually. So I'm going to top coat and um, cure and then I will have pictures for you guys. So thank you so much for sitting through all these um, very long videos. Um, probably a lot of pointless talking like I'm going to do right now. <laughs> but that is me. And um, I really, really want to thank all you ladies um, for being there for me. You know, your full support. And, you know, always commenting and watching and... Um, have such encouraging things to say it, it really really helps me out um there's times where I just want to you know crawl in a hole and and I don't want to get out of bed and I don't you know want to do anything but you know each time I put a new video up I'm like you know I have to like give myself this little pep talk like you know it's it's not even worth it don't waste your time but every time I put a video up I get all these you know positive comments and just you know great people um they're rooting for me so I mean if it weren't for you guys I probably you know I'd be a hermit <laughs> pretty much so um, at least I can be a hermit with you and this is my first 3D flower so that is awesome alright guys um yep 10 after 4 in the morning so this will be ready for you when you wake up bye